Hello everyone. This is Katrina McHyde and son Caleb. I'm introducing Caleb today. Uh, this is a vlog post on Tim McHyde's channel um, and we're giving an update. Caleb is our graduate here and now we're down at the apartment to clean the apartment in Schweinfurt. This is the, the park that we're in right now, right in front of where he has the uh, uh, apartment. I'll just show you around here real quick. That's that's uh, where's the apartment? I can't even see from here. Uh, where he's pointing is the apartment <laughs> behind those trees. So this is the nice little park in front. Caleb is going to um, go and start cleaning while we I make this update so everybody can hear what's going on in life and give you encouragement in your own lives uh, off of our testimony. So. Pray for that boy. He's starting work and and uh, I've talked about him before. He's hoping to move on right now. He's a pizza man. He's helping make pizzas, but he hopes to go into uh, professional gaming. The Olympics has started. Uh, professional gaming is one of the, the things that can be done. So he's hoping to get involved with that. So we can pray for Father to direct his life in that. Sound good? Works. Anything else you want to say? God bless. All right. Thanks, son. All right. So today's been a busy day. As you can tell by my voice, I'm still recovering myself. <laughs> um, I'm doing okay, though. I'm uh, feeling a little weaker, but doing fine. You know, just taking it slow. It's been a very interesting day. I got a letter in the mail by the insurance company, the government insurance, you know, because I started working so I can be a part of the government insurance. And uh, um, it looked like paperwork that I had already filled out. So I had planned this morning to go to the office, the office of the, the insurance company and find out what's going on and have them help me and see if I needed to fill that paperwork. It's not too far from my house. As I was driving there, three minutes before I got there, I got a phone call from the same office and the lady, she speaks pretty good English actually, but uh, the lady was asking me to come in because she had some um, difficult news for me, she said, and she wanted me to come in. I said, that's really funny because I'm three minutes away. I was already coming to speak to you. So, you know, Father has a sense of humor. He puts on our hearts to do things and be at certain places. It's great. Uh, so I ended up going to the office this morning and found out, she says, you're not going to like what I have to say. I went, okay. <laughs> and she said that uh, our son uh, is too old. Our special needs son, uh, Zachary, is too old. Uh, he's over 18. And so therefore, they cannot give him health insurance, the government health insurance, even if I work. So all of you following these vlog posts will kind of probably be freaking out like many people do when they hear our stories. And I want to say, please don't, please don't freak out. It, it's just fine. Um, these are the type of situations where father could show up in amazing ways. So I'm sure that she was expecting me to like totally flip out and be scared and and everything else and I'm just sitting there and okay you know it's fathers it's fathers I wanted to encourage you with this because you know the Israelites when they ran out of Egypt there wasn't a huge plan they didn't know what the plan was they just knew walk <laughs> follow Moses that's all they knew but they really didn't know how they were gonna eat or any of it and they had to live by faith so um, now I'm living by faith in the same way. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm staying. I don't know if I'm going. And it keeps going back and forth. And when life gets fast, when things start changing really fast and life gets fast, go slower. Because when you go slower, then you can stay easier in the comfort, the comforter, take in the spirit, the comforter, and know that he has all the answers. Yehovah already has everything planned out for you. He loves you so much. You are the apple of his eye. So he's going to show up. How? Could it be that um, it's uncomfortable for a while? Sure. But um, he always has, all he wants to do is give you blessings. He's a good father. He loves to give great gifts. And sometimes he takes away some things in order to put even better things in their place. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this. It's going to be one another one of those testimonies of father's amazingness 
and uh, it's gonna be just another thing that everybody hears the story no way daddy did that really I want to encourage you that you are writing the same stories in your life you say oh my li my life is boring I'm not a missionary I don't have stories like that yes you do you just don't recognize you do ask father to open your eyes to see that because he's always there he's always doing something and yeah does it is it difficult at times everyone every human he allows to go through difficult things and um, he he allows us to be tested to see if we'll have faith in difficult things so I don't know what it's gonna look like and who knows maybe I will cry I don't have any idea but I know that father will be with me and and he has the plan worked out so um, that's uh, gonna be fine and we have to clean this apartment because if I do start working well I sh I'm gonna start working I don't know how long or what's gonna happen <laughs> because we can't be here legally with uh, if, if Zachary doesn't have health insurance all of us so he's got something worked out um, <clears throat> so we'll clean the apartment and have that ready to be able to give back because this chapter is closed and we're on to a new chapter and we don't know what that new chapter looks like we think we do and then it changes and then we think we do and it changes and it's just okay every day you just do what's in front of you stay calm it's okay <laughs> and I'm saying this because many of us freak out in these type of situations and these are the times when if we can act different than freaking out then we're different than the world then people go you have something that I want you have peace no matter what's happening above all understanding can I have some of that and that's a testimony of daddy's goodness and the comforter that really really works the capital C comforter right um, I also want to share with you we had awesome fellowships um, yesterday on Sunday and Tim said something that just like was really good like really good so one of the uh, fellowship members was talking about um, how they were praying for patience about someone in their life that's a long-term person in their life um, praying for patience because they are a, more of a difficult person to be around and Tim said well I think you can you can do better than that and I looked at him going I thought that was pretty good Wow well I wonder what he's gonna say because I thought that was really good to be praying for patience he says why don't you start praying to see this person as God sees them and love them as God loves them to have that love in there and to serve them in the way that God would have them served you're in their life so there's something that you can do something that you can see um, to to bless him so instead of look praying for patience for yourself pray for love and I was like wow that's really good that's really good instead of it's just patience about you patience actually actually naturally flows as an aspect of having a heart of love in the first place right so when we really love something we have patient we, we naturally have patience for it when we're irritated and um, selfish or uh, being selfish for whatever reasons whether we're just tired and worn out or we feel scared whatever the reasons um, it's it's more of just thinking about ourselves instead of looking at loving our neighbor as ourself for the love of God and having the sight of God uh, put in us salve for our eyes as Revelation 3 says uh, to see the way he sees so that we can be one in will as he and the Messiah are one that's just like I could kiss my husband he's just so that was so good so I'm sharing that with you and hopefully that encourages you as well find your testimony find out what father is doing in your life right now he is doing something even if you're all by yourself right now and that's the season that you're in you've been in it a long time it doesn't matter he's doing something and you need to share it you need to tell it give us comments share with it <coughs> excuse me like I said I'm still recovering um, share with people share with God share with God what you think of what's happening and share with them the things that are like you're scared about but that you're gonna trust him in, in him anyway and your heart doesn't want to trust but you're gonna force through and push through on that faith that's how faith is grown and remember if you have faith of a mustard seed how far that gets we want to grow our faith 
so many great things and awesome things happen. You go from faith to faith and wonderful things happen. You get to do even more with it. To him who is given little and is responsible with little, does very well with it, will be given more and more and it'll be multiplied and packed down and it'll be overflowing so much you have to share it with everyone else. So it builds on itself. It just being consistent and practicing. Now, you're not gonna get it right all the time. I am not always like this. I want you to know, you know, I'm right in the middle of growth just like you. I get it wrong at times. I'm mad at times or I'm frustrated or scared at times. Um, and and uh, I have to slow down and say, okay, you know, I catch myself easier than I did in the past. I'm better at it than I used to be, but I'm still practicing. I'm still practicing. You don't have to be perfect at it. And don't beat yourself up because you're not perfect. Just keep on practicing. We got this. We just keep going faith to faith. This is the type of life that we're supposed to have. And these will the characteristics that will keep for eternity. And they will have dividends uh, now in this life and in the next. It is Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. I'm talking about every single one that listens to this. Any human being that's in his, in his image, he made sure the price was paid for you specifically to be translated into his kingdom. That means you have kingdom benefits. That means this physical world is is lower than those kingdom benefits. So all the physical laws that we have, there's a higher law to it that we access and we bring, you know, the, the prayer that, that you heard the Messiah say, you know, um, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That can be done through us by believing by faith that it is being done, that, that what the Messiah's prayer uh, was said is being done and that we can be a part of that having that vision of heaven uh, <clears throat> come in about how it could be better not looking at how destroyed things are and how weak and and uh, sick or uh, broken things are but knowing that in that brokenness father takes the most broken things takes the most sick things and he restores them so that nobody can boast they, because everybody knows that it wasn't us that fixed it, it was him we believed he could at like a little three-year-old my dad could do anything and you just boast in him and he says okay if you really believe it here I'm gonna show you or he does something even better that you can't even imagine but you gotta have to first have the heart of willingness to be able to get there and if you have issues with father and his goodness and trust issues tell him run to him and say I have some trust issues and I'm having a hard time believing that much and I want to grow in that do that daily every single day and have an open heart for it and father will guide you on a journey in order to get exactly that God bless to everyone leave us comments here subscribe to the channel this is Tim McHyde's channel I think you're seeing this or if people are starting to share it maybe not but look for Tim McHyde and uh, on the narrow path in the search on YouTube and you'll be able to find it and we're still trying to get things up on escape all these things.com so it's easy to find the vlogs as well but we have a lot of free things at escape all these things.com so come and visit us and give us emails and let us know how you're doing and we really really want you to be unstuck in your walk and feeling joy in getting forward motion in whatever's going on in your life and um, we hope that what we have the content we have helps you to do that so May Jehovah bless you and keep you and um, uh, put all of the kingdom benefits upon you and that he would open up your heart to receive them. God bless.